And the next message the Lord sent here is to pastors, for the ministers of God in, in general. The Lord said, my servants have feared me. I am not happy with them. Their works in my vineyard, and many of them have left the work I gave to them. They are there buying private jets, building cathedrals and mansions and empires for themselves. While my work is lying fallow and in distress, I am coming to avenge my blood upon them. Tell my servants to return to me. They are like the prophets of Baal who are concerned about their stomach and their well-being. They are like Balaam who disobeyed me. And also the young prophet I sent from Judah to Bethel who is now in hell. Soon they will go and join him in hell for all eternity. Tell my servants that their disobedience and their unfaithfulness has risen up to me. Tell them to remember my son, Bessin, and the whole son I ended up in her. I am angry. I am angry. And the Lord gave his servant scriptures for them to read. Jeremiah chapter 23 from verse 9 to 40. And Ezekiel chapter 13 from verse 1 to 23. So this is the message of the Lord Jesus to ministers of God in general. And Jesus in this, in this uh, context was not happy. He was very, very angry with the church. He was angry with his servants, the ministers. Today, so many ministers, they are not preaching the truth. They are out there uh, preaching for their stomach and for their well-being. They are out there building mansions at the detriment of the souls. The souls that Jesus died for. The souls that Jesus paid with his blood for. They don't care about them. They don't care about the spiritual life. They don't care about the, the, the relationship of the people of God with God. All they care is how they can build mansions. And how they, uh, they can build, uh, build the empires for themselves on earth. So the Lord is not happy with many of his servants. And if you look at it today, 70% of the servants of God, today, they are no longer doing what God sent them to do. Some of them have left their original placement, their original place with God because of money, some of them because of faith, some of them because of their stomach. They have left their placement with God. Hence, the message of Jesus to the uh, church in Ephesus, the Lord said that the church church to return back to our first love, meaning that uh, an individual, a minister of God and a ministry, they can deviate or leave uh, their original placement with God. So it is advisable that as believers, as a minister of God and as a ministry that we examine ourselves from time to time. Hence, the scripture tells us that we should examine ourselves to see whether we are still in faith. So, the scriptures is complete. Now, the purposes of these messages is for us as believers, as a ministry and as a servant of God, to examine ourselves to see if our relationship and our workings with God is perfect. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name.